Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Ewing from Daytona State College, and I'm going to cover this little part two on versioning. If you looked at the first lecture on versioning, I gave you a whirlwind tour of all that was involved with versioning. But now what I really want to do is I want to get down to kind of nuts and bolts of being able to use versioning within one of my projects. So here's a Visual Studio project, and kind of like give you a wish list of what I'd like to be able to do with versioning. So I've got my project up here. I right-click on my project. And what I really want to be able to do here is I want to get the latest version of the code from my code repository. And I'd like to be able to do it from right here, right here in the project itself. So if I were to go to subversion and, and update to a specific version, well, that's great. But look, I've got a subversion menu here. Okay. What I can do here is I can say update project to latest version right here, bring up a dialog, and voila, it's updated. Well, that's pretty nice. I now know that I have the latest version of the code, at least the latest version of the code that was in the repository, now present on my local machine. Well, let's go one step further. Let's go over here to, um, let's say, go to my common, which is a class that's right here, and let's bring that class up. And um, I made an example here where I have my bear, my property, that as an example I did later, and I said, you know what, I really don't need that code in this class because it was simply an example. So I go ahead and delete that. And now this class has changed. So I'll go ahead and save the class. Well, let's go back over here. Notice I now have a red bar right here. Okay, the file's been modified. Um, we know that the file's been modified, except that that tells rever version control that it's been modified also. So I have an option here. I can right click and I can go ahead and let's say let's let's put that version up into my version control, which would be commit. Or Suppose I made lots of changes and I want to be able to do all those changes at once. So I can now go over here and say commit project changes. And there's those project changes. I've already set where it needs to go to. And I click OK. And look, it just sent all the stuff up, up to my version control. So now when I'm on another machine and I need to get to it, I have the ability to do that. Well, what tool am I using right now? Well, first off, there are there's more than one tool that integrates with Visual Studio to be able to do project management. Because I'm doing my project management with Subversion, I want a tool that works with Subversion. And if I come over here, I've got just that tool right here. It's called Ankh SVN. Don't ask me why Ankh SVN or why the name Ankh, but it is a tool that specifically integrates Subversion, which is the management system that is actually being used with Visual Studio. So essentially, it's a front end for Visual Studio for using Subversion. It does all the other things that I've showed to you in the previous lecture on how Subversion works, but it just simply is an integration. So those concepts of being able to go ahead and get the latest version of something, okay, so in words, um, and um, updating and committing. Okay, that's all available right here, including some of the other tools that you have, like is looking at the differences between different versions. It's all built right into the system itself. Well, that really makes it kind of nice. Now, if you're going to use a management tool within Visual Studio, there's a few things that you need to do. Uh, one is you've got to set the tools to be able to tell you that you're doing that. Okay, so we go over to Tools, we go to Source Control, we go to Plugin Selection. And if you notice, it's one of multiple tools that you could use for that. We're not going to actually make that change because I've already made that change. Um, it's actually the one that I've set to be the default. So that tools options allows you to do that. And then finally, um, you're going to have to do some setup. Now, one of the things that you will have to do is make sure that you have a current version and a working directory of this. But one of the things that is actually capable of doing there is I can go ahead and I can open a project from Subversion onto my local machine. I'm not going to demonstrate that now because I've already done that, but if I open a project from Subversion, I can put it into a specific directory on my machine. And in this case, my repository, remember repositories where you put the code, is actually out in CloudForge. So I can open from Subversion from the internet make a working directory on my machine and open up a project in Visual Studio directly on that project that I've saved elsewhere. Okay, that I've actually saved up to that repository. So this is a very short and straight to the point integration of what you've been doing with Subversion and version control integrated into Visual Studio. 
not the only tool that's out there and also there are other tools that are useful for different um, interface de development environments okay but this is a very good one and a very good choice for, for um, and, and the other thing is that all the tools here are essentially free and open source so hopefully this has been useful to you um, it's relatively easy to learn how to do this hope you have a good time with this good programming